Traveling through Transylvania, a weak young man ends up inside a castle inhabited by vampires and ends up in the sights of a hunter, having to join forces with the creatures to save himself. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, The Little Vampire, from 2017. In an ancient Transylvanian castle, a clan of vampires gathers to celebrate young Rudolph's 13th birthday, but after celebrating the date 300 times, the boy is no longer so excited about the celebration. Bored, Rudolph goes outside the castle to spend some time, but his father Fred doesn't approve of his attitude and starts fighting with him, saying that his son will attract hunters. Not far from there, the Thompson family is traveling along the roads of Transylvania and Tony takes the opportunity to pass the time by reading stories about vampires. Nearby, Rudolph's great-uncles are flying in on their way to their nephew's party and end up pulling up alongside the Thompson family car. Upon seeing the vampires, Tony tries to show the flying creatures to his parents, but they mysteriously disappear and Bob asks his son to stop daydreaming. While talking to the boy, Mr. Thompson ends up getting distracted and doesn't make the turn he should, going off the road and down a slope. Despite the fright, the family didn't crash into any trees and stopped on the edge of a cliff, almost falling into a cemetery. In Transylvania, a vampire hunter called Rookery goes to a garage and starts calling for Maney, the mechanic who looks after the place. When he appears, Rookery destroys the door with his shoulder and says he needs the truck to go on a hunt, asking Maney to take him to the vehicle, which now has a spotlight capable of burning any vampire. In the castle, Frederick argues with his eldest son Greg, who accuses his father of being a coward for hiding from humans. After the argument, Gregory becomes angry and decides to leave the castle on his own, but Rudolph also wants to go along and begins to follow his older brother, not realizing that Rookery is already with his truck in search of vampires. Using a special radar, Maney manages to track Greg and goes to a gas station after him, burning him with his super flashlight when he is about to attack a human. To help, Rudolph flies to his older brother and starts carrying him back to the castle, not realizing that the hunters are right behind him. Off the road, Bob is fixing the car when the family is found by a couple of crazy old people who are terrified of vampires. Despite this, they are hospitable and offer the family a room to stay in until they can get a tow truck. When they approach the place, the family realizes that the elderly live in a castle with mirrors and garlic heads everywhere, because of their fear of vampires. Nearby, Rudolph arrives carrying Greg, which puts Fred on alert. Outside, Rookery puts some special bolts on the door and secures everything with an anti-vampire net. While the hunter and his assistant discuss the plan, Rudolph goes outside the castle and rips the wire from one of Rookery's machines, delaying the hunter. Desperate, the boy returns to the castle and tells everyone what he has seen, saying that they must escape before they are imprisoned. With Rookery on the way out, Greg suggests they use the labyrinth to escape, but Fred says it's forbidden to go that way and that he'll try to escape with everyone in front of him. At the entrance, the hunter is finishing securing the net when the vampires arrive. Caught by surprise, Rookery can do nothing to prevent Fred and his family from escaping, but the other vampires aren't as lucky and end up being captured. Using his super flashlight, the hunter burns the blood-sucking creatures so that they return to the castle, finishing by securing the exit with the anti-vampire net. In the skies, the great uncles are approaching the castle when they are met by Fred, who begins to guide them to safety. While they try to escape, Rookery finishes securing the net and starts chasing Fred, trying to burn the vampires with the light, but he ends up in an accident and has to ask for the help of a pilot to continue the chase, climbing into a moving plane to fly after the family. Noticing the hunter's presence, the group tries to fly around to lose him. As this doesn't work out, Rudolph decides to stay behind and flies into the windshield of the cabin, as well as flying towards the ground, causing the humans to dive with the plane. Trying to cut it with the propellers, the pilot almost crashes into the ground and has to change direction at the last second, which damages the aircraft's structure. Out of patience, Rookery decides to jump out of the plane with Maney, but the hunter's parachute comes loose and opens prematurely, knocking him out of the plane. With his boss in free fall, the mechanic jumps and manages to grab him during the fall, opening the parachute and landing safely. When he reaches the ground, Maney sees Rudolph watching them from a tree and alerts the hunter, prompting Rookery to point his flashlight at the teenage vampire, who flies off to save his life. While trying to burn Rudolph, the human points the spotlight in various directions and ends up throwing the light into Tony's room, who wakes up confused and approaches the window to investigate, seeing the teenage vampire approaching the castle. As it's getting close to dawn, Rudolph has no choice but to look for an open window to take cover, and as Tony's room is the closest, that's where he ends up. There, Rudolph sees the human and begins to growl, asking why they have been hunting his family for centuries. As he doesn't know what he's talking about, Tony says he's a big fan of vampires and Rudolph accuses him of lying, 
but is interrupted by the elderly couple who start banging on the door. Wanting to prevent them from finding out about the vampire, Tony opens the door and pretends that nothing much is going on, making the old people leave. Seeing that Tony hasn't told the other humans about him, Rudolph trusts the boy a little more and decides to introduce himself, finally becoming friendly. After a while of talking, Rudolph starts to get sleepy and the human boy decides to improvise a coffin, laying down his closet for the vampire to sleep in. Before going to bed, Tony asks Rudolph not to suck his blood and the boy tells him that he has nothing to worry about, as his father has forbidden the clan to get close to humans and so he only feeds on animals. After the conversation, Rudolph says goodbye to his friend and they both go to bed, waking up only when Tony's mother comes to wake up her son. After opening the window, the woman sees the cupboard on the floor and tries to lift it, but her son manages to stop her, saying that he did it just to play. After his mother leaves, Tony goes to talk to the vampire who complains of hunger. To help him, the boy goes to the kitchen to think of a way to get food and sees a cow in the pasture. So that his vampire friend can feed, Tony orders a roll of aluminum foil and takes it to his room, wrapping Rudolph in the material to reflect the sunlight. While trying to get to the corral, Tony is found by his parents and introduces Rudolph as the son of a neighbor, saying that he is wrapped in aluminum foil because they are playing astronauts. In this way, Tony manages to lose his parents and finally reaches the corral, where he takes Rudolph's role so that he can feed on one of the cows. When he has finished sucking the blood, Tony takes Rudolph back to his room, where the vampire tells him everything that has happened in the last 24 hours. When he learns of the danger Rudolph's family is facing, Tony offers to help and asks the vampire to go to sleep, saying that they will begin the rescue at nightfall. When night comes, Tony and Rudolph have one last chat and prepare to leave, but since the human can't fly, the vampire boy has no choice but to carry him. Together, the two of them climb out of the window and fly over the horizon, leaving Tony amazed at the sensation of gliding. Not far from there, Rookery finds Rudolph with his vampire radar and goes to the castle entrance, thinking that the boy is still there. Watching everything from the window, the elderly couple see Tony flying with Rudolph and believe that they are both vampires. At the entrance to the castle, Rookery talks to the couple and tells them that they have a vampire infestation, offering to take care of it for free. The old people then tell them that they saw two of them flying and that one of them is living in the castle with his parents, leading the pair to the room where the boy is staying. Far away, the teenagers approach the crypt where Rudolph's family is hiding. Knowing how his parents will react to his human presence, the boy decides to leave Tony behind and goes to the entrance of the crypt, where he is greeted by his family, who are relieved to discover that he is all right. With no time to lose, the boy tells them that Rookery is after them and talks about the help he had. Rudolph then leaves the crypt and goes to Tony, picking up the boy to take him to his parents. At the sight of a human, Fred gets nervous and almost attacks him, but Rudolph manages to calm things down and makes the introductions. Even after everything, Fred says that vampires can't be friends with humans and Rudolph insists that his father is wrong, leaving with Tony. Wanting to help, Anna, Fred's youngest daughter, offers to go with them, saying that her powers of manipulation could be useful. In the castle, Rookery uses some mirrors to analyze Tony's parents and notices that they have a reflection, which confirms that they are human. With that done, the hunter leaves the castle and uses one of his tools to locate the crypt by piercing the ceiling. Now that he has access to the catacomb, Rookery turns on one of his devices and sends out a super strong lamp to burn the vampires, but Tony doesn't stand still and removes the battery clamps, turning off the light so that the family can escape through the sewer. After they fly away, the boy reverses the poles and short circuits the equipment, sending a shock that knocks Rookery and Manny unconscious. In addition, the electrical discharge also damages the hunter's truck, ruining most of the accessories, including the radar. Far away, the vampire family arrives in a safe place and Rudolph says he will go back to rescue his friend, accompanied by Anna. Back at the cemetery, the hunters enter the crypt and confront Tony, turning on the light in his face thinking he's a vampire. As this doesn't work, Manny takes a cross and shows it to the boy, which doesn't work either. Even so, Rookery thinks he might be a vampire and fires his garlic cannon, only then believing him to be human. Upon confirming this, the hunter accuses Tony of being a traitor and begins to carry him off, attaching him to the roof of his truck and driving around. Just then, the vampire siblings are arriving with Tony when they see Rookery's car. But when they get close to Tony, they are repelled by the garlic on his clothes and end up losing his trail. Far away, Rookery leaves Tony tied to a tree and starts debating with Manny about whether to leave the boy alive or not. While listening to the conversation, Tony says that he regrets saving the vampires and that he can help them. The boy then says that the vampires will come to rescue him, but says that because of the garlic, they won't be able to get close, which will make it difficult for Rookery to capture them. 
Believing what he says, the hunter decides to throw him into the lake, but Tony asks to be untied first, saying that he could drown if he remains trapped. Manny then unties the boy and throws him into the water, allowing him to swim into the middle of the lake. Since they can't swim, the hunters start arguing about who will go after him and end up falling into the water. In the middle of the lake, Tony starts whistling and, thanks to her heightened senses, Anna hears him and follows the sound until she rescues him. Furious, Rookery goes to the old people's castle and starts running around looking for the boy. Nearby, the vampire siblings are arriving with Tony when they see Rookery's car. Hiding on the rooftops, they overhear the hunter saying that they are going to Transylvania and are worried about what might happen to the rest of the clan who are trapped. Needing to get there before dawn, Tony has the idea of asking his parents for help, but the boy knows he'll be grounded and Anna offers to help, entering the room and using her vampire powers to control their minds. After the couple fall under the spell, Anna tells them that Tony is flying Rudolph to Transylvania, saying that they should accompany the boy. With the two still under the spell, Anna goes to her parents and tells them that the human couple can take them inside the trailer, protecting them from the sunlight. After her aunt and uncle leave, Anna introduces her parents to the Thompson family and asks everyone to go inside the trailer right away. Far away, the boys are flying towards Transylvania when Rudolph realizes that someone is chasing them. While hiding, the two see a flying cow and Tony says it must have transformed after Rudolph sucked its blood, continuing the journey with the flying cow right behind them. In the castle, Greg leads the clan through the labyrinth, trying to guide them to the exit on the other side, but no matter how many times they try, they always end up back at the beginning. With the sun about to rise, Tony decides to take a break and asks Rudolph to sleep on a tombstone until nightfall. Before doing so, the boy tells him that Rookery has trapped his clan in an anti-vampire net and that he needs a special griffin key to remove the protection. Confident that he will succeed, Tony says goodbye to his friend and continues his journey on foot. A few kilometers ahead, Tony arrives on the road and sees Rookery stuck in traffic. Seizing the opportunity, the boy waits for the truck to pass and climbs into the back of it to hitch a ride. During the trip, Tony sees the special key that Rudolph mentioned and tries to get it, but at that moment, Rookery finds a very suspicious shortcut and starts going downhill. As it rattles over the rocks, the truck begins to dismount and the steering wheel comes loose, leaving the vehicle completely out of control. Since he can't change the steering, Rookery ends up hitting the rear wheel on a tree trunk, causing the axle to come loose and throwing Tony out of the vehicle with a special wrench. When night falls, Rudolph and his vampire cow wake up and start flying towards the clan's catacomb. Near the crypt, Rookery finishes drawing up his plan when he discovers that the special wrench has been stolen. Outraged, the hunter takes a car to the catacombs and asks Manny to go there with the most powerful bomb he can find. At the entrance to the tomb, Tony arrives in the net and starts calling for Gregory, but as they are in the labyrinth, no vampire can hear him. The boy then uses the special wrench and begins to remove the screws that hold the net in place, but Rookery arrives and forces him to stop, using his crossbow to intimidate Tony. At that moment, the boy sees Rudolph and the cow approaching and decides to roll up Rookery, waiting for his friend to get close enough to throw the wrench at the hunter's head. With the man down, Rudolph rescues Tony and takes him to a safe distance, watching together as Rookery gets up and begins the final steps of his plan. Seeing that the human intends to bomb the catacomb, Rudolph decides to do something and Tony suggests that he try to put a spell on the hunter as Anna did. Although the idea is good, Rudolph doesn't have that power and they end up in the crosshairs of the Rookery crossbow. Not knowing what to do, Tony tries to negotiate with the hunter, but the man refuses to listen and says that they will watch the catacombs being buried. At that moment, Manny activates the bomb and tells them that they have 30 seconds to retreat, recommending that they all take cover behind some tomb. As soon as they hide, the explosion happens and the shockwave makes everything shake. In the labyrinth, the vampires are afraid that the structure will collapse, but soon the tremor passes and everyone remains unharmed. Looking up, they see that the explosion has opened a hole outside and Gregory guesses it's a trap, offering to go and check it out. On the surface, Greg finds Rookery's wrench and uses it to knock out the humans, saving his brother and his friend. Relieved, the boy grabs them both by the hand and starts to fly away, but he lets go of them in midair and Tony starts to fall, forcing Rudolph to make an extremely fast dive to save him. Upon witnessing the scene, Gregory realizes that Tony is immortal and tries to attack him, but Rudolph manages to stop him, saying that despite being human, the boy faced Rookery alone and saved the lives of several vampires. After making up, Greg leaves Tony flying with Dracula's cow and goes to talk to the rest of the family who are still in the labyrinth, not realizing that Rookery has regained consciousness. Furious, the human wakes Manny up and orders him to go to the helicopter, taking the car and driving after the two boys with a spotlight. 
While Rookery tries to burn them, Tony does a loop in the air and ends up behind the car, hitting the lamp that falls to the ground. Even so, the hunter doesn't give up and picks up the crossbow to try to destroy them in midair. Just then, Bob arrives with the vampires and leaves the hallucination as soon as he realizes that someone is trying to hurt his son. Furious, he doesn't think twice before joining forces with the vampires and starts chasing Rookery. All this while Manny flies around in a helicopter chasing the teenagers. To throw him off, the boys start flying in circles at very high speed, leaving the mechanic disoriented. Finally, Tony stands above him and lifts the cow's tail, causing her to unleash a monstrous poo bomb that knocks Manny out of the helicopter. On the ground, Rookery tries to get Bob off the track and manages to separate from him at a fork, which puts the two cars on a collision course. Determined to finish them all off, the hunter starts driving at top speed towards the family vehicle, but Rudolph realizes what he's up to and ties Rookery's winch to a tree. Because of this, the vehicle breaks sharply before the collision and the hunter ends up flying into the windshield of the other car, smashing all over the ground. Furious, Bob gets out of the vehicle and accuses Rookery of trying to take his son's life, challenging him to a combat duel. Extremely cowardly, the hunter takes the pipe wrench and goes after Bob. Before he can land a blow, Tony arrives with his flying cow and smashes the man to the ground. Now that Rookery is out, the vampire family congratulates Bob on his courage and invites the Thompsons to Rudolph's party, starting to fly with them. In midair, the whole clan reunites and everyone starts celebrating, except Rudolph, who says that it will be dawn soon and that they need a new home. Hearing this, Tony has the idea of going to the old people's castle and says that he has brought some guests. As soon as they see the vampires, the couple go into shock and faint, leaving the huge castle to Rudolph's clan. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.